In the final part, I'm just going to look at the last part of the exercise, which says, on opposite limbs of a fold, developed beneath a plane of unconformity, now oriented 132, 20 degrees southwest, the following observations can be made. So basically what this is telling us is we've got, a, we've got um, some rocks that have been folded, they've then been overlain by an unconformity, and then that, the whole thing, has been tilted. So if I just draw you a little sketch of this, so basically we've got an unconformity which is dipping at 22 degrees, so it's just, so this could be our sediments, here is our unconformity, and then underneath we've got some folded rocks. Okay, so we've got, these are dipping 22 degrees, and then we've got some folded rocks underneath. So what we're going to do is we're going to restore the tilting of the unconformity in order to understand what the original surface was like when those sediments were deposited on top of this fold. Okay. So the first thing to do is to plot the poles to all the planes that you're told about. So we're told about the unconformity is 132, 22 southwest. So let's do that first. So. 132, 22 southwest. So rotate that down here. As southwest is now on this side, we're going to count in 22. So that's 22. And then if we go 90, so we're going to look at, so we're going to go 10, 20, 30, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90. So this is the pole of our unconformity. Then I'm going to plot the pole of the east limb, which is 42, 23 southeast. Oh, sorry, that's off. So I'm going to rotate the overlay now up here. We're going to look at the southeast side, which was this side. So we're going to go 23, which would be there. Then 90 more, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 60, 70, 80, 90. So this is our um, east limb. And then we're going to look at our west limb, which is 160. So here, 160, 46 southwest. So if we just rotate that round, and then we're going to count in 46 in the southwest so you can see southwest is on this side of the stereo net now so 46 10 20 30 46 and then we're going to go 90 more from that point so 10 20 30 40 60 70 80 90 and, put, and that is going to be our west limb so now, as I said before, what we want to do to start off with is cancel out the tilting of the unconformity. So in order to do that, we're going to do exactly the same as what we did before. Rotate the unconformity, the pole, this is, of the unconformity to the east-west line. And then we're going to restore that back so the pole is vertical and therefore the plane is horizontal. And that has been restored 22 degrees because that's the amount that it's dipping and exactly the same way before, we're going to move these east and west limbs by exactly the same amount along the small circles. So if we do that, we get the east is going to be here, just call that E1, and west is going to be here, west 2. So now we can see that these let's see 